Hey everyone, Rob here again with some updates on the Grimsvut possible volcanic eruption, but more importantly, the ice drop that is happening over the last 24 hours or so since I last posted. Now, we have, look what you're looking at here is the live stream I have set up, and it has two different graphs on it, so you can follow along. We got the tremor measurements in three different measurements, you know, representing the three different colors. And we can see there is a trend of it going upwards. Don't know what this means. If you do know, please put it in the comments because uh, it's kind of a guess. But I know what the fact was about eruption when we we're looking at these these graphs in particular. The uh, the amount that it was going up and sort of separating seemed to indicate that there was going to be some sort of volcanic movement. Uh, or the lava shooting out of the volcano for Vargasvelt. Not that that's going to happen every single time, but it is interesting that this pattern is different than a lot of the other tremor measurements that have occurred over the rest of the country. And specifically, from when they started you know, noticing and measuring it, you can see here they started on the 24th, roughly. The, uh, the pattern is, is definitely doing something a little bit different. This is constant upwards. Moving to the other side of the graph, though, this is, that's why we're all here, is this height change in the ice. Now, I'm watching it live now. Currently, it's <laughs> dropped 17.63 meters from the height, the peak height that they measured uh, earlier in the year. Now, if we rewind, I don't know how far we can go back, 12 hours. So 12 hours ago, it was 13, almost 14. Uh, but we were at 11, I believe it was around 11 and a half, 24 hours ago. And now we are, let's just go back live. Now we're at 17.63. The reason I'm emphasizing on this number is that reading some news, looking back at the previous eruptions, the last time an eruption followed this types of, you know, Jokerhleip, this, this glacier flooding, which was back in 2004, uh, at this particular volcano, in fact, the eruption began when the ice shelf at Grimsvut had dropped by 20 meters, and we are getting really close to that. We can see that it's minus 17.63. There's going to be an update in a second, so we'll actually see this update live, I think, in the next minute. But it'll be interesting because within the next 24 hours, my guess is we will hit that drop of 20 meters that previously had triggered an eruption. Now, who knows if it's going to actually happen? Again, they are saying that the glacial flooding has begun. You can see some pictures here by Rax. So shout out to him, who's an amazing photographer. You can see more of his pictures. If you check out the last video I posted, there's a whole bunch of them and links to a bunch of his photos in a VCR article. But he went on a helicopter, he took a plane, and he took this photo here. We can see here from the Icelandic Meteorological Office how high the flooding in the river has gone. Uh, all this water is is new based in the last couple days and then of course we have some other fantastic pictures but again we're looking here we go now we got an update so it's minus 17.75 and we can see this updates around every 15 minutes so we went from 0.46 to 0.75 so there's a an increase the other thing too is there's a fantastic live chat a lot of people are in here talking and it's a great way to ask questions no one's really saying anything terrible. Uh, everyone wants to help each other out, which is really, really good. But uh, yeah, just want to do a quick update on this today. Show you what's been going on. Let you know about this ice change and let you also know that within the next 24 hours, we will be hitting the minus 20 meter drop that triggered the last eruption. So who knows what will happen? could signify something i keep saying it's like 50 50 every all the scientists are saying it's 50 50 so only time will tell they are still saying that the flooding will peak this weekend so let's see uh let's see what happens until next time thank you so much for watching